Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to break down the tool that every new pen tester should actually learn. Not the fancy stuff that you see on Reddit. These are the tools that you get that you use over and over in real labs, real jobs, and real attacks. I'm going to give you the technical explanation and a simple real world analogy so that these concepts can stick. So let's jump right into it. All right, before we even truly jump into it, I want you to hit that like button right now. I appreciate it. All right, first tool we're gonna to get into is Nmap. I know a lot of you heard of Nmap and I'm gonna explain what it does and why it exists. So we're gonna start off with, um, so Nmap is your network scanner, what it does. So it scans networks, find open ports, discover services, operating system, and weak spots. Why it exists? You can't attack what you can't see, right? So Nmap was created to map an environment so you understand the layout before touching anything. And okay, so think of Nmap like walking through a neighborhood and checking which door are open, which windows are cracked, and what each building is being used for. You can write these tools down too, so because there's gonna be quite a few. So the next one is gonna be Burp Suite. I remember I used to call a uh, Burp Suite a uh, Burp Soup. And that's how you know who's new to the game and who has experience. Um, so yeah, so we have Burp Suite. So this is your web, your web hacking tool, right? What it does, it it intercepts, analyzes, and manipulate web requests. Let's you test login forms, APIs, cookies, session tokens, and more. Why it exists? Web apps are everywhere. Burp gives you control over the conversation between the browser and the server. So imagine you're listening to a phone call between two people and you hit pause and you change somebody else's words and play it back to see how the other person reacts. Next one is Wireshark, your packet microscope. What it does, it capture and analyze network. It helps you troubleshoot, detect attacks and learn how protocols actually works, why it exists. Sometimes you need to see everything happening on the wire, down to the bite. It's like having a super hearing in a crowded room. You can zoom in on any conversation and replay it. Next one, Metasploit, your exploit launcher. What it does, basically it's framework with exploits, payloads, scanners, post exploitation tools, listeners, everything in one place why it exists. Before this, you had to manually write and run exploits. Metasploit standardized it and made it testing safer and repeatable. But the reason why I don't like to suggest a Metasploit is because I feel like people should learn how to do it manually first before doing something that automates the process for you, in my opinion. Next one, Nessus or OpenVAS. It's a vulnerability scanner. What it does, it automates vulnerability discovery outdated systems, weak configs, exposed services, and missing patches. Why it exists? Large networks can't be scanned manually. Scanners give you fast baselines. It's like bringing a contract to your house and walking around with a checklist. He's basically checking if your wiring is outdated, the pipes, if they have leaks, and to see if the doors actually locks still. Next one, Hydro. It's a password attacker. What it does, it brute forces login portals like SSH, RDP, FTP, HTTP forums, you name it. Why it exists? Weak passwords are still one of the biggest ways attackers get in. So picture someone trying keys from a giant ring, right? So you have all the keys there and they're trying one after another until the doors open. John the Ripper, Hashcat, those are password crackers. What do they do? It cracked hashed passwords offline using GPUs, wordless, rules, mutations, mask. Why they exist? When you breach a system and dump hashes, you need to recover the real passwords. It's like solving a scramble puzzle until the original words appear. Next, you have Goldbuster, Dir, and you have Fof. You have a whole bunch of um, directory busters, but um, these are just, you know, the common ones. So it's basically directory brute forcing. What do they do? Find hidden folders, admin dashboards, API endpoints, backup files on the websites. 
why they exist, and developers hide things that they shouldn't. Attackers know where to look. Think of checking every drawer in someone's office to find one they forgot to lock. Next one is SQL Map, automated SQL injection tools. What it does, test websites for SQL injections, extract databases, dump tables, access files, and take over DB servers. Why it exists? SQL injection is common and powerful. Doing it manually can be slow. SQL speeds it up for you. So think of it like this. If burp is you manually pushing on the door, SQL is a bulldozer that tries every possible angle to break it. Next one, my favorite, Linux command line. That is legit your real superpower. What it does, not a single tool that is your bread and butter, file navigation, permissions, process, network, scripting, automation, everything. Why it exists, Linux give you precision and control. Every pen test tool relies on it. Think of it like if pen testing is cooking, Linux is your whole kitchen. Without it, you can't do anything. Here are just like option bonus tools. We have Bloodhound. So Bloodhound basically maps out active directories like a detective wall. Then you have Responder. It catches Windows credentials on the network. Then you have Matito. I probably said that wrong. I do apologize. It's a quick web server scanner. Then you have Mpacket, which is Windows Protocol Attack Toolkit. Then you have Crack Mac Exep. It's your Swiss Army knife for Active Directory attacks. And that's it. These are the tools that every beginner should learn. Not because they are trendy, but because they help you understand how attacks work at a deeper level. When you learn the tools and the analogy, it becomes way easier to connect those dots. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit me with a like, comment, and subscribe because I know some people watch it and not subscribe, and that's okay. I'm trying my best every day to earn your subscribe. And I do appreciate you even taking the time out to view this video. I love y'all. Hack the planet.